Portland, this weird news with Corbin Scott and Kelsey Scott. Together, they're bringing the facts to you. Hey guys, so hopefully you guys liked that new intro. Oh my goodness, you guys so much for making that. Thumbs up if you like that new yeah, intro. Put yeah. it really hot on that and we just like... <laughs> We had so much fun doing it. We're actually, we're going to show some of the behind the scenes footage um, at the end of this live. So stick around and check it out. Um, but we are going to kick off this weird news. This is the Super Bowl edition of weird news. Things are going to get super weird. Um, so Super Bowl is the biggest sporting event in the nation. It's a time when Americans come together and eat 100 million pounds of guacamole. <laughs> it is also the time where one out of 12 people watching the Super Bowl are really only watching it for the commercials. And it's also a time when the toilet is flushed more than any other times in the year. It's flushed most at halftime than any other time in the year. But to kick us off for a weird news story, <laughs> so I guess this is a tradition. I have never heard of this tradition before, but I'm not surprised I haven't. I guess people ask the animals, who's going to win the Super Bowl? So this year they asked the ape, or not the ape, is it the ape? Orangutan mm -hmm. ape, I think Tua. it's... Tua. Tua. Anyways, they asked Tua who's going to win the Super Bowl, and Tua said the Panthers are going to win. And Tua said that by chewing on a cardboard sign that said Panthers, and also kissing a paper mache panther something sign. sign. Yeah, but I guess that this family of orangutans <clears throat> are very good at predicting because Tua's father has predicted correctly the past seven years who is going to win. That's crazy. So you guys. we'll see if like, panther, panthers win and then we'll know if Tua knew. Yeah, the, his, Tua's dad, the monkey, has predicted the team for the last seven years and then unfortunately he passed away and so then Tua. Kind of has took now over. Taken over the family. Yeah, tradition. but it's hilarious because across the nation, like all these animals, all there's all these things like predicting um, who's gonna win and what. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be watching on Sunday and possibly going. If you guys are going, that is insane That's because crazy. the average ticket, the average ticket for the Super Bowl right now is four thousand eight hundred dollars. That's insane. The lowest right now you can get it is three thousand, and then the high is $20,500 for tickets on the 50-yard line and, line, and they were sold to someone from San Jose. Oh, my goodness. Actually, you know, 35% of ticket sales are written off as a corporate expense. Oh, that's weird. Isn't that crazy? That is weird. Huh. I have to go for work. Interesting. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll head down there to the Super Bowl. No. We'll probably just watch it um, live. Um, and then there's also some like weird bets going on for the Super Bowl. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but uh, some of the weirdest bets are what color of Gatorade are they going to pour on the coach? What do you guys think? Uh, blue. I think yellow. Color? Is I don't that know. a color Gatorade? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blue. Um, and uh, the next weird question is, is there going to be a wardrobe malfunction during halftime? There always is. I, I know. And I then, think it's on purpose. It's it's like a conspiracy. Well, there wasn't a malfunction last year. Wasn't it the Sharks? The Katy Perry Sharks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that? Um, and then the other weird bet that people are betting on right now is, is there going to be an earthquake during the Super Bowl? Because it's in San Francisco. It's California. People are all freaked out because earthquakes. Ooh, that would be dangerous. Yeah, that'd be bad. Why would people bet on that? I know. That's, that's just awful. like putting more attention to it, making it more likely to happen. Yeah, so comment below. I know there's a lot of you guys watching. A lot of you guys have been waiting um, a while for this because we put it up yesterday. But uh, shout out to Brittany, Rob, Riley, Calorie, Fizzy Lifting <laughs> Riley, Drink. Riley, Calorie, Left Shark. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, comment. What bets are you guys going to be making um, this Sunday? I bet Kelsey is not going to watch five minutes of the game. <laughs> the reason I watch the Super Bowl is so I can drink beer and eat pizza. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. And then leave down below who you're rooting for. Yeah. I just found out today who's playing. She cheated. We have a segment coming up. And it's going to be really fun. But she cheated. Like usual, she cheated on the last I challenge. I don't cheat. I just somehow yeah. figure out answers. Yeah. And then I find out later that I wasn't supposed to know that. Whatever. Okay. Um, so... Now for that segment, Super Bowl quiz. Super Bowl quiz. We're gonna do a quiz, and 
So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to ask Kelsey three questions. She's going to ask me three questions. We're going to switch back and forth. And whoever gets the most right wins. Who do I win? Uh, the satisfaction of knowing a lot about the Super Bowl. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so let's put up the scoreboard. Are you going first? Are you asking yeah, the question I'll, first? Okay, so yeah, I'll ask your question first. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> my question is, she was really confused when we were like, looking at Super Bowl things we can talk about. What number of Super Bowl is this? No. You know how there's like Roman numerals and they number the Super Bowls one through whatever it is now. Um, 29. <laughs> I don't know. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. It's 50. Oh. <laughs> Super Bowl 50. <laughs> she was so confused. She's like, why do you have 50 written on everything? Oh. <laughs> She's like, we're only asking three questions. Why I know, is it 50? Like, he did. He had like 50 fun facts about the Super Bowl. And I'm like, man, that's it's a, a lot. Like, we're not going to have time for that. <laughs> it's a Super Bowl 50 fun facts. Oops. That was a giveaway. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My question is, how much does the Super Bowl trophy cost? I know this actually. He cheated. <laughs> he also cheated. So I get it. I we were on the we, same level. We, we both, both cheated. cheated on one thing. It's actually the Super Bowl trophy. Get this is twenty five thousand dollars. I thought it would be way more than that. Yeah. Isn't yeah, that actually. right? Is that right? Yeah, you're right. But just because you cheated. One point for me. <laughs> Your points aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> there. One point. Okay. Uh, your second question is, which teams are playing in the Super Bowl? Like I said, I didn't know until today. But I do know now. The Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. Yeah, you cheated. Whatever. Okay. Your turn. Okay. My next question is, how <clears throat> many teams have never won the Super Bowl? The number of teams. Have never won? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Lucky guess. Lucky guess five. Thirteen. Oh, I was gonna say. There 15. are thirteen teams, and actually, the Panthers mm. are one of those teams. They have never won the Super Bowl. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, shows how much we know about. So, football. if you don't get it, do I get a point? No. Oh. No, it's not how it works. All right, my last question. I don't know if she's gonna know this. She should know this since she doesn't watch the game. I thought I'd throw in an easy one. Who is playing at this year's halftime Wait, I show? Wait, I think I know. I think I heard this on the radio, but no, if I'm wrong, it's going to sound really dumb. Is, is Coldplay? Playing? That's one. That's half a point. So, no, I get it. That's no, there's point. two major what? people playing. Is, you guys, isn't there two major people playing? Don't give it away in the comments. Who That's is all it? I know. Who is it? Coldplay. Okay, just and, make, it, make and, an educated um, guess. An educated guess? Yeah. Coldplay. Yeah, but there's a second one. Somebody Don't read the comments. The comments. comments. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tweet it to me really quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys, you could also use the hashtag WanderLive to talk to us, um, and then we'll get your tweets. Somebody tweet it. Quickly, quickly. Uh, but don't because she needs. No, to okay. Guess. I definitely get the point because I said Coldplay. Okay, guess one more artist. Um. Hmm. Where's me? Where's me? Where's me? <clears throat> do 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 do. Um. Mount Prince. No, I wish that'd be awesome. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? It's Beyonce. Oh, of course. I believe. There's always like some believe. girl singer and she's yeah. always sassy. Okay, your last question. So I get that point though. Get that point up there. Uh, you get a half, but it doesn't really do have. So. I definitely get a point. Okay. Okay, last question is: Who is the youngest player this year? I know the oldest, thirty-nine. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the. Uh, I'm gonna say twin. Is it age or who it is? Well, you can go, well. Either or. Age. Okay, age. That's easier, actually. <coughs> I'm going to say 22. Ha! 21. Oh, what? It is Devin Funches? Is that how you say his name? I don't know. He is 21 and he plays for the Panthers. Can you imagine 21? That really puts your life in perspective. That is crazy. 21 and playing Bowl. in the Super Bowl. That is awesome. That's awesome. That was our game. Kelsey wins. Woo! Uh, can you believe that? I won the trivia question for the Super Bowl. The person who didn't even know who was playing. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even know the number of Super Bowl. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. There's a ton of you Let's guys see. commenting. 
Uh, Carla Lowry, student seven elementary, says they hate the Patriots. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brittany Robb. She has sympathy for me. She says, so close. Oh, I was. So close. <laughs> so close. Uh, someone says, Paris Strange says, get Paris out so they can say hi. He is sleeping right He's now. He's sleeping. Go get him. Okay. He's sleeping watching us he, right now. Can put little socks <laughs> on his feet? Let me show you, actually. April Velada. That's a shout out to April. She did a whole bunch of emojis. Wow. Oh, he is grumpy. <laughs> Here he is. Here's Paris. Okay. Here he is. He has socks on because when he walks around when we're doing a video, it's like... Du, 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 you can du, hear du, it. Du, 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 du. So he has little socks on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we are going to end it there. But before we go, we wanted to show you a video of us making the intro because <laughs> we, had, <laughs> we had so much fun with it. Um, so here it is. Oh, my God. ridiculous because we were trying to like uh reenact like news people in front of the screen and it was really it fun. was so funny it's just like us in our living room and we're like yeah <laughs> all right well thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure to follow us on twitter to find out when we're going to be live next it's always on saturdays um we change the time every so often um so follow us on twitter and instagram same handle um and we do videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So go ahead and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Be where your feet are.